Hey, well, how's it going, everybody? In this video, I want to take you to the Oconee Gold Camp, and I'm going to show you the dirt fest that happened in October of 2024. Now, we were only up there for a couple days, but we had an absolutely great time. So, let's take you up there now, and we're going to start everything out with the metal detecting games that we put on on the morning of the first day and also we did some on the second day but i'm gonna put the the games together so you can see the games that we did with everybody the metal detecting game so let's go all right playing a fun game of treasure pong or detector pong and here is our oh, hand it off there you go she's finding a target or they're finding targets they're taking their ping pong ball and all right she's gonna make it okay. hey all right, next. Misses, the guys lose. I mean, the guys win, no pressure. Oh, guys win. All right, everybody. Playing a game called Swingo. All them cool targets on this paper. That's what they're looking for out here in this little field. And they are going at it out here at the LDMA Oconee camp. And whatever they find, they're gonna get one of these cards in just a few minutes. We give them 10 minutes to look for it. And they're gonna come over here and grab the card they want. They're gonna lay it all out right here. Boom, boom, boom. And if they go five across, five down or five diagonal, they win the game. They holler out Swingo and they are done and they are the winners. And I tell you, it's gonna be a fun game. Metal detecting version of bingo. All right, Chris has got the Swingo cards. They're gonna choose their card, pick a card, any card. Since Donnie's on this end, we're gonna start at this end. That's <laughs> fine, brother. <laughs> Let them pick whatever card they want, and they can go to town. All right, well, like we got the first winner. Penny, and he still gets it. Penny, bottle cap, jewelry coin i think you did it probably yeah you probably got enough to do it twice <laughs> all right this is the game we played we already had swingo. Here, swingo swingo number two free space lead bottle cap coin and dog tag yep and we got so we, we keep got going a couple winners here uh we, we're just uh, going to see who knows who knows it's got it's no it's a it's a piece of jewelry is this aluminum yeah like a uh, this house yeah, that's aluminum or a dog tag, whichever one you want. Bingo. Swingo bingo. Got it. Yep, you sure do. Come on. Earring. Pull tab, pull tab. Bingo. You do it twice. Boom, 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 and boom. Yep, good job. Good job. Would that be considered jewelry or a coin now? No, it'd just be considered just something fun, a cool find. Okay. Where'd that come from? What's it say? I don't know. It might have got thrown out there with the stuff that we had. Yeah, it says Folly Beach on it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shell casing. You actually got it right here. Full tab. But I don't have a shell casing. Nope. You got full tab, full tab there. And then pull a coin down here and you got it. There it is. Yep, there you Boom. go. Got another bingo. Did everybody get it? I think everybody got it. Everybody got it. Well, good deal. You got it a whole bunch. <laughs> yes, you did awesome. Anyone want to barter a quarter or something? <laughs> <laughs> you need a bottle cap? All right, we're going to give out the tickets to everybody, and then we're fixing the draw for these winners. We, uh, fixing to have somebody win some gold dirt and one troy ounce of silver. So we'll get back with y'all with the winner. And you can't draw your wife. <laughs> you better. All right, here we go. What is this for? All right, let's see, it's gonna be, oh, we're gonna go with gold bag first, right. then we'll do silver. Gold first and silver, since gold worth more. Here we go. Last four digits. Two, three, eight, one. Right here. 
Oh, well, look at that. Lucky lady. Yeah, she won Woo. the gold dirt. Lucky. There's you a quarter gram of guaranteed gold. If it ain't guaranteed, call them, let them know you can put up gold in. And there's your little shovel. That's a cute shovel. All right, hold up and smile. <laughs> All right, this is going to be for the one troy ounce of silver. Here you go, sir. Divorced, it better be good. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. For the silver. Two, three, eight, two. Boom. Woohoo! We got the winner right here. Nice. So let me cut in right here for just a minute. You're probably wondering, Stephen, why was there not many people there? This was Dirt Fest. Was there not like 50 or 60 or 70 people supposed to be there? There was. But do y'all remember something that hit the United States like the southeast like the last couple days of September? I um, think it started with the uh, H.O. Helene. Yeah, Hurricane Helene absolutely ruined everything for a few days and yes i feel so sorry and so bad for the people that were uh got hit way worse than we did um some people lost their lives and it's very sad uh, but we still put the event on and we were able to go up there and have a great time we were without without power the first day but the power came on the evening of the second day that we were there but we did our portion in just two days and we done it toward the beginning of dirt fest but yeah there was a lot of people that had to back out just because of traveling uh couldn't find fuel things of that nature maybe didn't have a generator to run their camper and things like that on so they would have been in the dark so let's get back to the oconee camp in this video i want to show you now we actually did the trommel and i'm just going to let you guys see the trommel and well let's just show you the trommel and show you the gold that we found with it all right, we down here now at the trommel. And my man right here, Frankie, is loading up the bucket. And we're gonna run it in that trommel right here. And we doing a good day of dirt fest. Let's find some gold. All right, here we go. like a DOT crew. One person working, everybody else standing around. <laughs> we pull the water from the creek bed over here. They dug themselves out, probably trenched it out. I'm not sure. They may even use the bucket, the thing. And they got, they're pulling the water from down there and sucking it up into this pump right here. And it sends it over here. And then of course it all goes out into the pond right here. And that's how they do everything. So that way there's no er erosion. There's no, it doesn't mess up the, uh, it doesn't mess up the landscape. And this is where all the silt and everything goes. It settles back to the bottom and that's how they run it. Chris decided he was gonna do a little work. All right, we found us a rock while we were, well, Chris found a rock. It's got pits in it. Seeing pits. pits. Of Yeah, it's quartz. We, 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 see, this is a, this is, that's not gold, y'all. That's mica. But it looks like a big old piece of something cool. But it's cool little pits in that thing. Yeah, I wonder where them pits come from. Hopefully it was gold and it's now sitting in that sluice box over there. That's right. Hopefully them big old gold nuggets fell out of them. So, we thought this was a coin. He poured it out of that, uh, out of that, right there, getting ready to run into trouble. And I seen it. I went over here and I said, what is that? And it's, uh, it's mica. We thought it was a coin at first. <laughs> All right, Stephen wanted to do a couple of shovel loads to show y'all that he's actually doing work, but it's only gonna be for video purposes. I don't think he's out here doing work. All right, y'all, we just uh, turned this thing off and we're looking for gold now, now that we cleaned off the box and we're getting ready to well i don't know when they're going to actually i don't know we're going to actually take the mat now and do the final cleanup but probably after lunch 
Donnie says after lunch. So y'all gotta wait after lunch. Go eat you something. All right, y'all. We doing some cleaning up here. Pulling the grass out of the staples and then pulling the staples out. You got one more right there. Can you reach it? Yeah. Because with hog mats, they're normally taped together. Yeah. That makes for one oh, big. Oh, one big piece. So what this yeah. guy has done is use the staples. Yeah. To hold the mats together. Oh, that makes sense. So you already got all the staples out? Yes. Sir. I believe so. You can all double right. verify. We'll pull this here next section out. Three rows of three. All right, got all the excess water off. He's gonna do some here. clean up here. So if there's any gold, y'all, it'll be in those mats. Chris is a master cleaner upper here. Cleaner upper. Cleaner upper. It's like the quilted, quilted quicker picker upper. Thicker, quicker picker upper. We like pickers. That's Maybe right. we'll pick up some pickers while we at it. All right, this is the top mat. That's where she's gonna be. Yeah, Just got I'm gold. To see if I see any. Don't see any right away, but that doesn't mean it's anything. all hiding under here. Yep, Donnie, it's that's where it's hiding. Oh out. yeah, it's hiding. All right, y'all. Everything we ran, all that material, that's the stuff we're going to run to see where the gold is. The gold should be there. Y'all see any of the gold? All right, everybody. So we're up here at the pan estate, and uh, before we actually use the pan. We're going to use a mini sluice made by Goldhog. And uh, we're going to run all those cons that are in that blue bucket right there. We're going to run them through here. Get the rest of that silt and stuff out of it and that sand, blonde sand and stuff. And we're actually going to find them. And the rest of it is going to be in here. And hopefully it's going to be slam full of gold. Here goes the first scoop. Go put the first scoop in. So it won't take too long to do this, but you don't want to get too much of a hurry. All right, y'all. Got a piece of gold in here. We're going to actually pull it out of here, too, but I wanted to show you. It's, where's it at? Point it, point it out again. Right there's a little piece. Oh, yeah, right there. Right over here is a piece. Yeah, right there in the middle of the camera. Right there. You don't see one there. There are some, some more in here as well. We're going to get it out and paint it a little bit better and get it into a gold pan so you can see it with that green background. All right, y'all, we got some here. They're on the, on the end. If y'all can see us. There y'all can see it right there. Take the some small yep, flakes. Some small pieces in there. Y'all see all them? All right, y'all, we getting some here. And we hadn't went through. This is, this is just the stuff that went under the mat. There's one shining real pretty. This is the stuff that just went under the mat, y'all. Y'all see that one there? All right, y'all, here we go. There's two there, two there, couple there as well. There's even a couple down here that's making their way out of the sand. There's even one right there, too. Mm -hmm. one right there. And we still got a pan of other stuff. It's gonna I be a good one. Right. Yeah, let me go. Uh... All right, Steven's panning out our cons now. This is where we're gonna have, where, where, where we should have the good stuff. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to just show y'all some of these pieces in here. So there's some there. There's a bunch right in there. And it's all over. I mean, it's everywhere. We, we even got some back here that we've already washed down. But there is a lot in here. A lot of little pieces like that. That's what we came up here to do. That's to right. put on some metal detecting hunts and then come down here and find some gold. And we found some. Yeah, we did. Yep. So, it's not, you know, it's not real big gold. I mean, you're not going to. Ken, yeah. Donnie, and Frankie. Frankie for uh, all putting this together. Yep. These guys, they're a great group of guys. Absolutely. All they need to just, if you just come out here one day, you can come up to this camp and just talk to these guys. They'll probably even let you run a little bit of dirt. I don't know. It's up to them. But if you're not a member, you could actually talk about becoming a member. Oh, yeah. But they are a group, good group of guys. I'll check them out. Absolutely. So we got another one more metal detecting hunt we're going to do this afternoon, evening, and uh, before we close everything out. But so far, it's been a good day. 
So we did two hunts on the last day, two actual hunts. Uh, we did one right after lunch, right after we got done with the trommel, and then we did one in the evening just before dark. So I'm putting both of these hunts together so you can see the two the hunts that we're doing and uh, some of the stuff that was found some of the stuff that we put in the ground for everybody to find uh, but yeah again we had a great time and so let's show you that footage now all right we're getting ready for our afternoon hunt here we go i heard you found a silver dime you found a silver dime I found a silver dime and a silver piece of jewelry good deal all right How's that legend doing, Donnie? Oh, uh, one thing I got to learn is how to pinpoint with it. Okay, yeah. Where the pinpoint is on that. Yep, yep. Because I've been digging too far up or too far back. Yep, yep. Well, they're all out here just digging away, digging away. And there's Chris walking away. Set and go. Last hunt, y'all. This is the last one of Southern Relics and Nocta for Dirt Fest. What we're gonna do here, we have a roulette wheel right here. If you've watched our videos at all in our hunts, we broke we break out the roulette wheel and we have some stuff to give away right here. So we'll be doing that here shortly. And what they do is when they Alright, go ahead and spin them. You got it. Ooh, book or sheet? Which one you want? Black or brown? Black, because I one. have the brown. My husband can have the There you go. Honey, you got a sheet. What you got? Blue. Silver Another blue. Gun. Flashlight, pick your color. Black. Bam. Got These one. guys and girls have been detecting all this time. And we have a blue penny. She gets a spin on the wheel. If you land on something blank, you can spin again. He, uh, if you want that thing next to it, you can have it. What is it a digger and... It's a Kelico digger and sheath. We had a great time up there. It was a lot of fun. Yes, the numbers were down, but Hurricane Helene was to blame for that. And everybody's understanding of that. Uh, LDMA, again, they didn't, they didn't, you know, end the year with the big event out here that they wanted to in the East Coast. Uh, but Dirt Fest and all, awesome. I, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to, to LDMA for how they put this event on and how they presented this to everyone. Uh, just everything went great. Um, I was at the Loud Mine back in June. A whole lot of people there, um, probably 80 to 100. So there was a lot of people there. Um, I had a great, great, great time there as well. Uh, we did a miniature one at Oconee that was originally planned at Vane Mountain. And then they changed the uh, the venue, done it at Oconee Camp, and uh, we had, I think we had more, we had more at that one than we did this one, which again, it's fine, it, it is what it is. So Ken had his restaurant open up there at the camp, and Ken's a great cook, by the way, he's a really good cook, uh, had a good menu, we had that AU burger, AU, y'all know it stands for gold, AU, great burger, it was really, really good. I had fried shrimp, uh, see, some kind of fish I ate one day, uh, hot dogs, you name it. We had all kind of stuff. Ken was trying to raise money to build a uh, bathhouse and to have a well dug, either a well or hook to the city water somehow to have more water brought in there. I think it is for a well, but um, I'm not sure how much they raised, but that money is going to that. So everything that was, that was uh, bought on the menu for food-wise, was going toward that um, that bathhouse. And that's gonna improve that camp greatly. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward to being able to see that uh, that bathhouse put in. I, it's gonna do that camp wonders. But great camp, great people up there. Um, but Southern Relics wants to do a metal detecting event all of their own. And it's just gonna be Southern Relics. I mean, it's not gonna be Nocta, it's not gonna be Kelly Co, it's not gonna be LDMA. It's gonna be Southern Relics. Southern Relics metal detecting hunt. And uh, we're going to try to put that thing together, try to have all the details maybe in the next month or so, um, getting the property set up, getting all the venue and everything set up for tents and everything else that's needed. Um, maybe some food trucks, things like that. I know I'm spilling the beans. I'm telling you all kind of stuff that I probably need to wait on. But 
it's an idea that we have and it's something we think we can make happen um i've already been talking to someone about the land so there's a possibility my permissions that i have lined up i'm gonna have to start getting those dates laid out so we can go metal detect those places um but uh have some more relic hunting videos coming out here probably next couple weeks but anyway hey i hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you